is up guys Lord Respawn here today is a very very big day in the Pokemon community in the Pokemon world um, we had an amazing Pokemon direct um, at 8 a.m. CST is when it happened um, a lot of hype around this a lot of you know when they dropped this announcement uh, yesterday it's going to be Gen 8. Everybody knew that. Um, it was. It is our first look at Gen 8. Um, so as you can see, this was like one of the promotional posters or, or social media posts. They got the three Pokeballs. So everybody's like, all right, we're going to see the starters. Um, so without further ado, we got Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield officially announced for 2019. Um, this is Gen 8. Gen 8 is here. Uh, we have very little information. We have a trailer and a little bit of, uh, information, um, that they posted throughout the day today, um, but not very much. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through the trailer, just kind of highlight some of the, the obvious things, um, some of the big call outs, like the confirmed stuff that is coming to this gen. Um, and then from there... Uh, we're just going to go through the official site, kind of highlight things, and then wrap things up. So, Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, those are the two games um, that are coming out for this year, for Gen 8. So, let's go ahead and start this trailer. Um, it just immediately starts just panning into um, this amazing looking, um, just like overlooking town um, with, with just hills and in fences it looks like you got like a route one sign right here um things like that maybe i can full screen this actually actually that might be better okay so you've got like a route one um a nice little town tons of mountains in the background really cool um let's see okay right there you've got a got a fletchling i'm not really sure um not really sure what that's about but this town likes fletchlings um all right so right here We've got some some open areas. Looks like one of the routes. Um, looks like a Pokemon gym down here, a Pokemon center. Um, very cool colors. Uh, you can like explore in this in this little area. If you guys can see my mouse, and then as well on the left hand side over there, um, it it just seems very open uh, compared to previous games. Not as open, and we'll get into that, but um, somewhat open compared to other games. Uh, here's a house. Um, it looks like the house that you might start in. You got a backpack on. You can be a male and you can be a female. So that's confirmed that you can be one of each. Um, here is, it looks like a battle, um, a battle stage or, or battle, uh, a place to battle. You've got a beautiful lake here. Again, you've got the, the, the mountains in the background, a nice little house right here. Um, all right, you've got like a, a forest. You've got a massive town. Looks like a train is going across. So trains may be confirmed to get between um, everything. Here's that gym that we saw earlier. Um, we do see a lot of these logos around the um, around the map. So or around this video and around some of the screenshots. So I'm not really sure what that is, but I guess maybe a Pokemon champion kind of thing. Uh, more bridges. You're in the town. You got an icy place. Um, here's that lake that we were talking about. One thing that was just confirmed right there is random encounters are back. So let's go ahead and watch that one more time. Um, as you can see, she kind of like interacts with it and, and a Pikachu comes comes about. And it, it shows you battling the random uh, encounter, which is something obviously that was not in Let's Go. Um, so that's a big, big confirmation there. I'm very happy to see that. Um, and one of the big confirmations that I've already said but i definitely want to call out is gyms are returning um that was confirmed that gyms are coming back to gen 8 so no more well there could be trials but um it looks like we're going back to that you know gym battle trying to become a pokemon master or a pokemon champion as they call it in this game um and, and it looks like you know there's a it's showing all the different environments um right there or right here it shows there's trainer battles again so we're back to the to the battling um of trainers which was in the last game but it, this is more of an emphasis on it 
Um, this battle with Tyranitar looks to be more in a stadium, so maybe this is like Endgame trying to become the champion. I don't really know. Or it could be just a, um, a gym battle. You know, we don't really know. Here's a, inside of a house. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, I did see some side-by-sides of this and then like the inside of Sun and Moon and X and Y, and this is like a hundred times better. Um, no word on if you can like customize or anything like that, but just looking at it, it looks incredible. Um, here's another town, another little town square uh, with a fountain, um, maybe the, the season change. One thing to call out is um these yellow and red flags i don't really know what they are but they seem to be to be around um here is j just a cave that we can explore um something out here on the hill that we're going to discuss in a, in a different video but very interesting um i don't really know what that is but uh we're going to speculate and here's just some more background stuff again male and female confirmed and then here you are walking out into the champion um battle uh at least that's kind of the impression that they gave us so that's kind of cool um some people say it's like based around soccer in europe but i i don't know how accurate that is that's total twitter talk okay so that's the initial part now we get into the um as i mentioned there were three pokeballs everybody knew we were getting starters announced and we did so here's the first one it is a fire bunny um his name is Score Bunny, and my, of course, my uh, my video is in the way. So let me let me move that up real quick. Okay, there we go. So Score Bunny um, is going to be that that first. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and bring it back. We'll go ahead and pause on Score Bunny because we kind of missed that. Okay, there we go. So score bunny has been blowing up twitter if you've been on twitter all day but this is a fire type pokemon a lot of people think it's going to be fighting as well not confirmed but we shall see so that's going to be the first one so it jumps up fire on his feet uh looks like the water pokemon puts it out um and now we get to meet the water type starter um and that pokemon is and i'll let it reveal itself sobble so Sable is just chilling. Um, lots of stuff coming out on Twitter, just like memes of Sable. I, I love Sable. Um, but yeah, some people hate him. Some people love him. I love him. But uh, here's the next one, or the last one, obviously Grass type. Um, and his type, or his name, and we'll let it go, is Grookey. So there's Grookey. It's like a monkey uh, grass type Pokemon. Um, so there you have it. There's your three starters. Um, you know, your typical fire, grass, water. Um, and then the final Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Um, one thing to call out here releasing worldwide in late 2019. They did not give a release date. Um, but it is interesting that they did call that out. Um, uh, like previous games, I would totally anticipate, um, excuse me, a, a November release date right before Thanksgiving time uh, for U.S. Um, but, you know, we shall see. Uh, okay, so here we are. We're going to end it on the official um, website for the game. And it's got the slogan, Forge a Path to Greatness. So it seems like kind of implies some kind of big battle that you're going to have to fight um, to become great, to become the best, to become, you know, the one and only um pokemon champion so that's exciting uh here's another quick look at the three pokemon you'll meet first so again no we don't know how we're going to meet them you know with sun and moon it in their release trailer it kind of gave um a a highlight of like how we're going to meet them you know uh but we have no idea how, how we're going to meet these three pokemon and if we can catch them later in the game or how that's going to work but again, here they are. Um, as I mentioned, all we know is they are grass, fire, and water. They will probably have some more, some other type of um, some other type of ability. But you know, more to come on that. Um, one thing to to call out that I did not call out before is it is the the Galar region or Galar region. I don't I don't know how to say it. I'll have to go watch a video um, again because it's it's kind of slipped my mind. But this is the region 
Um, and it is just it is just incredible. I'm gonna do a video just kind of talking about the map all by itself, um, a little map analysis video. But you know, this is the new region. It it is a little bit different than what we're used to. It's more you know the game is kind of based on the UK um, in, in that aspect. So like having it in a long skinny um, north to west, south or north to south, south to north kind of aspect, it makes sense. You know, it's not really like the wide or the square like we're kind of used to. Um, Alola was more on that wide scale, you know, the islands spread out. Um, so yeah, that this is the new official art for the map um, in the region. Who knows if it's gonna branch out? Like nobody knows, but this is what we have right now. and is very, very exciting. Um, so there you have it, guys. Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield. I uh, hope this overview video kind of, kind of, showed you you know what was in the trailer things like that um and then you know hopefully you enjoyed you know meeting your first three pokemon uh go ahead and drop a comment who are you choosing who is going to be your first pokemon that is a a massive decision that all of us are going to have to make um i'm team sobble i've always been a water type kind of guy so that's who i'm going with drop a comment and i'll catch you guys in the next video tons of pokemon content for gen 8 and other pokemon content coming soon stay tuned and i'll catch you guys on the next one later